we're not used to seeing Aberdeen on screen, definitely not. And I think, I hope that we've done it proud. Granite Harbour is a new crime drama. It is set against the backdrop of the oil industry up in Aberdeen. But it's just a really good story. It's just a really well-crafted story um, that delves into these characters as well. Like we've got a little bit more time to spend with the detectives and how they tick. So I play Detective Sergeant Lara Bartlett. Lara is ambitious, she's witty, she's um, she's the kind of person you want on your side of the argument. Born and bred in Aberdeen, uh, she's dedicated her whole life to being a, a police officer and a detective. And I think because of that, she's probably sacrificed a lot uh, in other areas of her life, socially perhaps. She doesn't seem to have started a family or have a partner. They bring in Lindo and he becomes her mentee. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. Oh, I'm not your mom. It's just really exciting to see a strong, feisty female lead that is kind of unashamedly set in her ways and holds her own in possibly what could be quite a male-dominated industry. If it's going to be too tough for you to follow basic orders, then we're going to have a problem. Are we going to have a problem? Having Granite Harbour set in Aberdeen, I think, makes it felt special to me because I have a sort of affinity with the North East. I'm from Dundee. Aberdeen is not a million miles from there. They are my granny, grew up in Aberdeenshire in Fetter Cairn. My first job at a drama school was up in Aberdeen. So there's a nice kind of like, I don't know, serendipity there. It was like, oh, this is my first role, like big leading role in television. So for it to be set in Aberdeen was like, there was just some, a nice kind of like through line there. We're not used to seeing Aberdeen on screen, definitely not. And I think, I hope that we've done it proud. I think there's some stunning shots of Aberdeen. And, you know, I think Aberdeen can get a rough reputation. It's that granite is battered by the North Sea air and winds. It's, it can be very gray. It can also be really beautiful, you know, and the coastline up and down there is stunning. The people are really friendly, you know, the architecture is gorgeous. So, and I hope that, you know, Aberdonians and Scots alike will be proud to see Aberdeen on screen. And that also it might introduce, you know, our friends down south to, to an Aberdeen, the side of Aberdeen that they, they didn't know was here before. But there was just something about being in Aberdeen, speaking to Aberdonians, hearing the accent, driving to work and seeing, you know, the oil rigs out on the North Sea. It just felt like by some sort of osmosis that it was kind of filtering down into us, like just being there so that we could tell that story with just an added level of authenticity.